what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are back playing some ARC, doing some tutorials, going over the ARC basics. If you guys do enjoy these videos or learn something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe and share and ring that notification bell if you haven't done so already. So, uh, in the end of the last tutorial video, we did die. So it's a perfect time to show what happens when you die. First of all, you drop all your inventory and then you come to this menu. On the right are all the spawn areas, just like you saw when you were first creating your character. And you could respawn in a random area in any of those locations. So we're gonna try to respawn as close to our body as we can. And you click respawn random location, or you can create a new survivor and start all over. Uh, so let's go ahead and click respawn random location. And hopefully we can find our stuff and get it back so we don't have to start completely over. So first we had to go through the whole load up, scratch your arm, look around thing. And now let's see if we can actually find our body. I think we died over here somewhere. I'm not really sure where we died, to be honest. Uh, but I'm gonna look around and see if we can find it, and I'll show you guys what that looks like in just a minute. All right, guys, I have found my body, and you may be wondering, where the heck is it? Well, it's right here. See this bag and the little green thing coming out of it that helps you locate your body? This is where your, all your inventory will be. If your body gets eaten, you'll get a bag. If it doesn't, you'll actually see your body. You can go up to it and press E to access, and you'll have all your stuff. Um, there's a little button here that says transfer all uh, and you can do that either from the inventory to your inventory uh, or from your inventory back into the bag uh, or into the box or whatever it is that you're doing. However, once you pick up everything, it will disappear. So let's go ahead and take all and we got it all back. And look, it already put our stuff back on our hotbar for us, but it does not re-equip your armor. That is something you do have to do on your own. So I think it's time that we talk about building because building isn't important. It's what's going to protect you from getting eaten by things. Um, it's also where you can put crafting stuff. Uh, but first, we're going to need to gather up a bunch more materials to do that. So I'm going to go and gather up a bunch of stuff and then I'll bring you back. All right, guys, we have gathered up some materials. We've got some stone, some wood, some thatch, a little bit of fiber, a bunch of stuff going on. Um, but now we can't move. We gathered up too much stuff and our weight is overloaded, as you can see right here. And we can't move. So what we got to do is we can either drop some things by hovering it over it, right clicking, going drop. Hovering over and pressing O, you see it back on the ground, and we still got two minutes to pick it up before it disappears forever. Or we can craft a storage box. So you want to go back to your Ingrams, we've leveled up a few times, and scroll down and look, storage box, perfect. So let's click that, and while we're at it, let's go ahead and learn a couple other things that we're going to need. We're going to want to learn uh, some building pieces, thatch foundation, door frame, ceiling, wall, door, and hide sleeping bag, because that's going to be super important. So we'll go ahead and start with those things. Uh, and let's go see what it takes to craft one of those boxes. So you go to your crafting menu like always, go ahead and find that box, double click on it, or right click and craft, and it'll go ahead and craft up. Now these you can throw all over the place. So let's go ahead and throw one right here in front of us. We, we put it on our hot bar, then we press that button to use it, and you'll see that little green silhouette like you just saw. You can place it wherever you want by clicking, and then sometimes clicking again. Okay, so then you press E to access the inventory of that, and you can drag all these things in there. And now all of a sudden I can move so much more. And since I can move now and gather a lot of stuff at once, I can actually go ahead and go gather more. So that way when I start building, I will have a ton of extra stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and gather a bunch more stuff and then I'll bring y'all back. All right, guys, we have gathered up a bunch of stuff. We've got tons of materials in the box. We've got tons on our person. And now we actually wanna start gathering. So we're gonna need some of each of these materials in our inventory. So I'm gonna grab a bit. If you hover over something and press T, it'll transfer. Uh, now we can only hold up to double our inventory and right now we still can't move. So you might not wanna overburden yourself if you think you might have to run quickly. So let's go ahead and press V and go to that crafting menu. And you'll see all these pieces now that we've learned. So to make a building, the first thing you want to do is make a foundation. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and make a few of those. We're gonna go craft amount, and we're gonna go ahead and make four and hit OK. That's a good start. And while those are crafting up, we do have a crafting queue, so we can start making other things. So we're gonna make a door frame. We're gonna make a door. We're gonna make uh, ceilings, maybe four of those, and we're gonna make some walls which I believe we're gonna need seven, if I'm correct. Let's go ahead and craft that stuff up. Now, once this stuff crafts up, you'll see it in your inventory and you go ahead and drag that down to your hot bar, or then you can start placing that stuff so you are ready to craft things up. All right, guys, so we've got those pieces that we wanted to make crafted up and they are all on our hot bar. So now we wanna find a spot we wanna build. I wouldn't fret too much about where that is at first because you will probably be tearing down and rebuilding a lot. So let's go ahead and just start right here. It's as good a spot as any. So first we want to place foundation, which we have in our number four slot. We will press that and click, and then click it again, and it's in. So the reason you have to click twice is because if you click it once, then you can actually rotate it around. Uh, you want to hit a, oh, 
Uh, and then you want to hit four again to get rid of that if you don't want to place it there. Now, once you have that foundation placed, other pieces will snap to it. So I put another foundation. Look, it'll automatically snap. So for now, we're just going to make a little four by or two by two hut, a total of four foundations. And this is now this is made of thatch. You can see it says thatch floor. Also in a crafting station, you can see that that is the main uh, material that it is crafted out of. Now thatch is the weakest structure there is, and eventually you will upgrade to higher things, but this is most people's normal starting structure. Some people might skip straight to wood, but thatch is the most basic and first. And a lot of dinosaurs can destroy, and a lot of creatures can destroy these building pieces. And the stronger and more intense your building pieces are, like wood, stone, metal, and then there's even tech, uh, the less dinos that can actually destroy it. But for now, we're doing this. So now we can go ahead and place the doors, uh, or the, where we want the door to be. We'll press five, and you'll see it go there, and it'll snap anywhere that you can put around. You can put some in the middle, make rooms. For us, we're just gonna put it right here on the outside, and this door will actually snap right inside of it. Look at that. Now when we walk up to it, we can press E to open it, and now I've got a door. We got a building with no walls, but hey, we got a door. So now we can go ahead and snap the walls all the way around it. You can see them there, just like this. Perfect. And did we make enough? We made the exact right amount. Look at that. Uh, now, some people will go, you can go multiple walls high if you want. Let's actually build uh, some more walls and see what that looks like. All right, so we made the extra wall pieces, and now we can just stack them right on top. Now, there is a limit uh, to how high you can go, but you're not going to hit that, uh, definitely not in early game at least. So now we have two high, which some people like because it just gives a little more headroom, which is nice. And then we can put the ceilings on, which snap just the same way. And it can be a little tricky to get the spot right. We just got to move around a bit so you get it. And there you go. We have ourselves our first little hut. Isn't that amazing? Look how awesome our little hut is. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Anyways, guys, so that is going to conclude today's video. Uh, we're going to keep doing some more tutorial stuff in the next video. For today, guys, that is going to be it. Uh, if you did uh, like the video or if you did learn something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And, of course, feel free to subscribe and share. And ring that notification bell if you haven't done so already. You can also check, check me out on all your social medias at Obadiah X. And check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Obadiah X. I also have a link to Streamlabs tip jar in the description below. But anyways, guys, I really do appreciate you coming to hang out with me today. And until next time, I will see you later.